All right, now, as you can see, I'm out here sharpening my brush hog, and I'm just gonna walk you through the basic steps of how I do it. All right, so it's not hard to see that for me, the first step in sharpening up my brush, brush hog is taking it off the tractor and flipping it back on its side. I would never wanna get under this thing just cause it's so heavy and possibly the kind of thing that's gonna fall and crush you. So we can see, I just lay it against this old axle set that I've got, but you could put it on a bunch of tires or blocks of wood or against a tree or anything. And then I just chain it up. Actually, usually what I do is I take my farm jack and lift it a few feet, and then I chain it up to my truck and just pull it over so that it's completely safe to work on. Now I've seen some videos, maybe you've seen these too, about uh, guys taking their blades off the brush hog to sharpen them up, but this thing is so old and so nasty rusted that there's just no way for me to get these guys off. Uh, you know, these bolts up in here are just kind of welded, rusted together. So what I'm doing is just the next best, best thing, which is sharpening these guys right in place. And the only tool you really need for this is an angle grinder. And I've got it set up, as you can see, with the regular grinding bit. You don't want a cutting wheel on there. And um, all you do, really, with this guy is try to sharpen these last, like, say, I don't know, six, seven inches. You don't cut with this whole thing with the brush hog. And as you can see, these are some totally beat up old blades. Just nasty, busted up, bent old pieces of metal. But, you know, you'd be surprised. This thing actually cuts pretty well right now, even though these are all bent up because these things spin so dang fast that they actually just, you know, take care of grass and shrubs, no problem. But I'm sharpening them up, and I'll just show you how to do it. Put your grinder on lock first. Get some eye protection, hand protection on there, and then just go at those last few inches. Now it might look like I'm trying to put like a machete edge on this thing or something like that, but I'm really not. You know, this is not going to be a super sharp edge. It's just edge-like as opposed to a beaten up old piece of metal. So it definitely, you know, resembles an edge. And I'll give you a close up there. You know, it's definitely shaped like an edge, but it's not going to cut me or anything like that. You're not trying to get a knife's edge on there. Um, you know, this is just for cutting brush. So obviously I'm just trying to get a sharp you know, kind of six, seven inches that are sort of blade shaped at least. Now let's take a look at this one that's all nasty and unsharpened. You can see it's been a bent from beating on rocks and whatnot, but you know, when this was last sharpened, it did have a bit of an edge on here, so I'm just gonna clean it up. Now, as you can see, the blade's not pretty. It's still all beat up and whatnot, but it's got a good edge on there. You could definitely go buy new blades at Tractor Supply or whatever, but I think a blade like this is just fine for brush hog work. 